In this question, we're given the equation of two lines, L1 and L2, and we need to show that these two lines are parallel. And so the first thing that we need to do is define what it means for two lines to be parallel. Two lines that are parallel have the same gradient. And so we can use the general equation of a straight line in order to help us work this out. We know that the general equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. And we can label this. y is referring to the y coordinate, m refers to the gradient of the line, x refers to the x coordinate, and lastly, c refers to the y intercept of the line, which is the place where the line crosses the y axis. So now let's take a look at the lines we've been given. We know that L1 is equal to y equals 3x minus 2. And the equation of L2 is 3y minus 9x plus 5 equals 0. L1 has already been given to us in the form y equals mx plus c. y equals 3x minus 2. And we can easily identify that 3 is equal to m. So m equals 3. And this is the gradient of the line. And we can see that the c value for y-intercept is equal to minus 2. We'll just note that this is the y-intercept. And now to prove that these lines are parallel, we need to focus on the gradient. So we need to now see that L2 had the same value for m. But to do this, we need to put L2 in the form y equals mx plus c. So we need to make y the subject. We're given that 3y minus 9x plus 5 equals 0. So the first thing that we need to do is move the plus 5 to the other side. And to do that, we need to take away 5 from each side of the equation. So we're left with 3y minus 9x equals minus 5, because 0 take away 5 is equal to minus 5. Now we need to do the same for the minus 9x. So to take it to the other side, we need to do the opposite of what it does here. So we can do plus 9x on each side in order to be left with 3y equals minus 5 plus 9x. Now that we know that 3y equals minus 5 plus 9x, we can write this in a way that is more similar to y equals mx plus c. We can say that 3y equals 9x minus 5. To get to y, we need to divide both sides by 3 because we're given 3y. So here, to divide by 3, we're left with y. So we can write y equals 9x minus 5, all divided by 3. So we need to divide both parts of this equation by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3x, and minus 5 divided by 3 we can leave as a fraction, as just minus 5 over 3. So what we've done is divided both sides by 3 to get an equation for L2, which is y equals 3x minus 5 over 3. So we can write both equations side by side again. L1 is equal to y equals 3x minus 2, and L2, y equals 3x minus 5 over 3. Now we need to go back to what we were speaking about before. So to show that these two lines are parallel, they need to have the same gradient. And the gradient is given by the m value in y equals mx plus c, which is the number that goes straight before the x. So if we look at L1 and L2, they're both given y equals 3x minus 2, y equals 3x minus 5 over 3. The number before the x in both equations is 3. So the gradient of both of these lines are 3. So now we've proven that these two lines are parallel because they have the same gradient. But in order to get that last mark, we need to write down L1 and L2 are parallel because they have the same gradient. The both values for m is equal to 3. Therefore, they are parallel. Now, this question is worth two marks. So let's take a look at where these marks will be allocated. Now, the first mark will be for manipulating the equation of line 2, which we've done over here. We've said that L2 is 3y minus 9x plus 5 equals 0. And we've started to manipulate this already by saying 3y minus 9x equals minus 5. And that's where we'll get the first mark to show that we've started to manipulate the equation of at least one of the lines. And it doesn't matter which one we do, 
as long as we can prove that they both lines have the same gradient. So now to get the second mark, we need to end up with an equation for either L1 or L2 that proves that the gradient of both lines are the same, which we've done over here. We haven't changed L1, we kept L1 in the form y equals mx plus c. And then L2 we've changed to get y equals 3x minus 5 over 3. So this is where we get the second mark, because we've done, we've manipulated the equation of line L2 in order to show that the gradients are both 3. And then that ties into that final statement. We have, we have L1 and L2, which had the same gradient and therefore they are parallel, which, which we've shown over here by showing that L1 and L2 both have the value 3 before x.